Hey everyone, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another part of Macross Delta Scramble with me. And as we, as I mentioned in the last video, we are going to head down to uh, doing the Windermere missions here. So, of course, after you've unlocked, uh, or rather, after you've played the second mission in Chaos, you actually unlock the first mission in Windermere. Um, sadly, I could not show you this as uh, it had happened in my previous video recordings where I got copyright striked. So yeah, let's get down to the missions itself. So you can see I've already done some of them. Um, yeah, so um, we're gonna do the first mission. And sadly to say, under Windermere, the story for the Windermere, uh, Windermereans aren't uh, narrated. So if you're wondering what they are saying in Japanese, if you can read Japanese, that's good for you. But if you're wondering what it's saying, it's basically saying the history of what happened to their planet and what Hayate's dad did to them, or so they said in the anime. But we all know probably the dad was like uh, manipulated and all that um, to do the bombing. Uh, but we'll find out more about that story maybe in the Macross Delta movie. Um, that they will be making, I guess. Uh, usually, each Macross series would have a movie or two, um, just like how they did for Macross Frontier and Macross 7, and, you know, every Macross series that has been created as of now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, so, okay, so let's get down to the missions itself. Alright, so as you can see, there aren't a lot of things unlocked for Windermere's except for Heinz being unlocked after you've completed the first mission. I already have him because I've already done so. So yeah, let's get down to the mission. Um, if you guys aren't sure, um, because if you select a supporting unit and they are a singer, let's say for example Heinz, you can see he has two songs. Now, the effects of the songs are exactly the same, it's just that whatever he sings will be uh, different. Like whichever song you wish to hear him sing, um, when you use him as a support, um, it will turn out differently. So yeah, that's, that's a very cool thing. So I guess if you've unlocked more of the idols, um, they you could choose their character songs that they sing throughout the whole series. That um, they are exclusive to that particular episode itself, and if you you love those songs, yeah, this this selection is the thing for you. All right, so we are playing as Windermere's right now. Okay, so this time round, our task is to defeat the battleship. So many targets because they're all different parts of the ship. Um, it's not needed for us to actually defeat the smaller um, planes or units um, because it's not necessary. Uh, the main target is the battleship, of course, and I do not wish to die. Oh my goodness, I'm being bombarded. So, as you can see, it's pretty annoying because um, the ship is so big, so many units and targets. Uh, but you have to pay attention on where they are, like on the left side of the ship or on the right side. If, if you're targeting the, them on the wrong directions or rather the wrong side, you're basically free firing into nothing. So that's pretty annoying. Alright. It's, it's pretty. Uh, it's good that you um, take out the turrets and all that first because they can be very annoying blasting you and all that uh, and you definitely want to try and stay alive so I guess this is the main body and it's not okay main cannon 
I should aim for the main cannon. There we go. So many annoying alerts. The map is pretty small because of the battleship. Um, the battleship did take quite a bit of space. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go in and target. Annoying like mosquitoes. <laughs> okay, that was a very bad uh, referral. <laughs> reference. Really. Alright, there we go. So one down. I guess let's go take care of the smaller ones. Alright. Anything else on the map? Yes, there are plenty more behind us. You can see on the map here. All the bombarding. So many enemies. So annoying. More enemies appearing. This is a pretty long mission. As you can see, like, we've already used up like 5 minutes. Oh, so we have to defeat another battleship? So I guess this was the battleship that we had seen destroyed in the first mission under Chaos. Um, so I guess we're supposed to take part in destroying this uh, battleship now, like um, what they did in the first mission. Um, yeah, so I guess playing a part of the main story itself as uh, Windermere's we're not really the bad guys Windermere's aren't the enemies actually it's just one person apparently in Delta that is causing all the chaos and destruction in the whole series uh, which is pretty obvious from the start um, if you guys don't know I think <laughs> it's, just, it's just Japan's way of always making the antagonists a person wearing spectacles. <laughs> um, I know there are some game series where most of the protagonists are not glasses wearing characters, but usually 
that's how it always ends up um, pretty, pretty stereotypical uh, style okay so there we go second battleship gone so annoying the alert Oh, they are quite tough. I mean, their are, are defense and all that. So, this is a very long mission. I guess we probably have to destroy everything. Or are we supposed to like, live out throughout the entire time? There you go, so everything is destroyed at this point. Yeah. So there we go, we have the animation there. Um, showing what we did in our first mission in Chaos. So we got A, not too bad, could have done better, but that's okay. Alright, so on to the second mission. Alright, so not looking at the briefing once again, because I think it's a bit pointless. <laughs> um, after all, Macross is a kind of game that is just destroy everything inside, you know. Uh, for me, this game is not mm, about all the bishing and bashing, it's more to the music uh, and feeling the experience of the pilot uh, in the series itself. But it's pretty cool to see that even our main our characters we are using they are being voiced. That's, that's pretty good work um, there by the company. Look at that, that scenery of the planet. So pretty, oh my goodness. Moving on to the next battalion, um, all seem very far away though. I really wonder how big a map it is, um, considering there's so much space to fly around and all this. So good job to the game designers. Um, and there we go. Oh, all of them are so far away, my goodness.
<laughs> he literally stood there and get bombed. <laughs> oh, cool. So we're fighting Mirage. Let's get rid of all the smaller underlings first. Whoa, being bombarded like crazy. <laughs> she stood there and let me bombard her. <laughs> like that's just insane fun. So I don't think I don't think she will die here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we bombarded her, but her HP is not dropping any further. So, yeah, I guess she's not meant to die, yeah, obviously, because it's part of the series. Uh, as you can see, the Windermere Sacred Specials is not unleashing physical attacks, but a bombardment of missiles and fire uh, weaponry. That's pretty cool. So, we got S. Leveled up. Alright, on to the third mission. I wish they would change the loading icon sometimes. Like, they should create like an anniversary game for Macross uh, where the loading screen character changes from each mascot from every series. So, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Oh, that's some heavy goofy looking planes. Yeah, dude. That's quite far. Oh, we just crashed into each other, oh my goodness. That was just hilarious. I'm surprised that we didn't die. <laughs> oh my goodness, the bombardment. I missed three strikes, oh my goodness. So as you can tell, the distance or the depth of the enemy is important too.
<laughs> right in the ass. Alright, on to the next one. The map is pretty big though. Considering the how far the buildings are. Enemies everywhere, my goodness. Ah, I'm being bombarded, no. How in the world do I miss? Oh my goodness, this is just terrible. Hmm, the wings for the, the Windermere planes are pretty pathetic. Alright, there you go for the mission. I apologize if my screens have gone out of the <laughs> recording area. Um, yeah, I'm still holding my PS Vita recording and I have yet to find anything to stabilize my console playing, so I apologize for that. Uh, well, okay, um, I'll probably end the video here with three missions each time. I don't want you guys to be watching such a long video. Um, so three missions roughly about 20 minutes so that's pretty decent all right until again i will see you guys in the next part uh part four uh we'll probably tackle more missions on the chaos side um i did unlock a uh, extra mission here but as you can see the difficulty is quite high so i don't think i want to touch that yet so yeah i'll see you guys soon bye